Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we're going to talk about setting up PMs, also known as preventative maintenance templates, in Limbo. PMs allow you to take the guesswork and paperwork out of maintaining your assets. Once you've built a PM template, the task will populate based on the schedule you chose with the instructions you created to maintain your assets. With PMs, you'll be able to keep assets in the best possible condition, minimize unplanned downtime, and save time and money. Let's get started. First, navigate to the PMs page. Select the Locations icon from the navigation menu, and from your desired location, expand the list of options using the caret icon, then click PMs. On the Manage PMs page, select New PM Template. In the new pop-up, Create a name for your PM template. We recommend using a descriptive name so you can quickly identify the task that needs to be completed and which asset is associated with the task. I'll call mine Quarterly HVAC Inspection Unit 3. Next, you'll need to choose the template you want to create. If you already have a PM template you'd like to use to create another one, you can select Copy from an existing template. Otherwise, make sure blank template is selected. Once you have named your template, click Create. Now that the template is created, we can assign an asset and build out the instructions. Before adding instructions, you'll want to assign an asset to the PM template. Linking the asset allows you to track performance metrics and any associated work on the asset. As a best practice, we do not recommend assigning more than one asset to a PM. If multiple assets are associated with a single PM, each task will need to be completed before the next batch of PMs is able to generate, which could lead to a bottleneck or delay in your routine maintenance. To associate an asset with a PM, find the Asset column and click the plus button. Then select your asset. In this example, I'm going to choose HVAC Unit 3. Then choose Select. From here, your PM template will be ready to customize. To add instructions and customize your PM template, Click on the PM name to open the Edit PM Template screen. First, fill in the task description with something brief but descriptive enough that the technician knows what to expect. In this example, I'm going to say, perform the quarterly inspection and replace the filter. Now, you'll want to add instructions. Instructions are the steps or actions necessary for the technician to complete the PM. For this example, we want the technician to inspect the air handling unit, check the thermostat, and replace the filter. To start, click Add Instruction. There are several basic and advanced instruction types to choose from. We won't cover all of them in this video, but you can hover over the instruction type name to see its function. For the first instruction, I'll select the checkbox instruction by clicking it and then clicking Select. The checkbox instruction type is one of the most commonly used and it does just as it sounds. The user will click the box to check that the instruction is done. Once it generates, we can change the instructions in the text box. In this example, I'll write, Inspect Air Handling Unit. You can also add sub-instructions to an instruction. This allows you to add additional detailed instructions and even create conditional instructions based on the work that gets performed. For example, a technician may need to lubricate the fan bearings in some instances, but not all. For this example, I'm going to add a sub-instruction to check and clean the condensate drain pans. To do that, I'll click the plus button underneath my instruction and repeat the same process. Next, I'll add the instruction to check the thermostat. I'll call this Check Thermostat and add sub-instructions. I'll select the number type this time. Once it generates, I'll make the text Enter Temperature. Last, we want to change the filter. I'll add a final checkbox instruction and make the text Change Filter. We can preview our instructions by clicking the Preview button to see what this PM will look like when generated. Once I'm ready to go back to building my PM, I'll click Build This Task. Now let's talk about associating parts with a PM. In the Edit PM Template screen, select Add Part. From the new pop-up, select the part you'd like to associate. In this example, we need to select the HVAC filter. In the text box, enter the number of parts you will use for the PM. For this example, we will predict that only one filter will be needed. This can be changed by the user when they complete the task, so if they end up needing to use more or less parts, they can enter the actual amount used. 
After you've set up your instructions and associated parts, you'll want to set up a schedule. A schedule tells Limbal how often and when to generate a PM. Go to the Schedules column and click on the calendar icon. There are several recurrence options available. For this example, since the PM is for a quarterly inspection, I'm going to select Monthly as my recurrence. From here, I can choose a weekday or numeric occurrence. For this, I'm going to choose the weekday option. And again, since this is a quarterly inspection, I'll choose to repeat this every three months, on the first Monday of the month. So, my PM will generate to occur on the first Monday every three months. Then, choose a desired start date. Find the date picker next to Starts On and select a start date. If you want your PM to end after a certain period of time, click on the date picker next to Ends On and select an end date. We don't need one in this example. Now, click Save. The final part of setting up your PM template is assigning a user or team to the task. Task assignments save you the hassle of manually assigning the task each time it spawns. Go to the Assign To column and click Unassigned. From the new pop-up, select the desired team or user you'd like assigned to the task. Selecting a team is helpful if more than one person can or should be necessary to accomplish the task. Doing this will assign the PM to all individuals on the team. In this example, I'll assign this task to the afternoon shift and click Select to save our changes. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can visit our Help Center anytime for lots of great information about PMs, reach out to our support team, or talk to your dedicated Limbal CSM to learn more.